Avoid all contact with infected individuals. Wait for official instructions. <laughs> Wait my ass. Kill all sons of bitches. That's my official instructions. Left the Dead returns with some more zombie killing goodness. But is Left 4 Dead 2 just a flesh wound? Or is it a full out brutal attack? This is some grim shit we got ourselves into. There's only one place to find out here on the XG Game Review. This is not happening. Anyone here? This is not happening. This is not happening. Thought they supposed to be saving our asses. Looks like there's been a change of plans. Left 4 Dead 2 has you playing in five brand new zombie films which are set in the southern states of the United States of America. You'll be visiting Savannah, Georgia and finally arriving at New Orleans for the game's finale. Left 4 Dead 2 has you playing as one of four brand new characters. Coach, Ellis, Nick or Rochelle. I ain't walking down 30 flights of stairs. You wanna get bit? Isn't that how this works? No, I'm good. My friends call me coach. I guess y'all can do the same. Hey, name's Rochelle, you? Ellis. Pleasure to meet you, Rochelle. Obviously, each character has their own personality. Coach is a coach, Ellis is a 23-year-old mechanic, Nick is a gambler and a con man, and Rochelle is a news reporter. Every so often you'll hear witty lines that make everything seem just a bit fine and dandy. It's great. I am not dying in this goddamn swamp. You'll soon find out that Ellis is the one that talks a little too much. However, the characters are just there for you to, well, get to like them. There's no real story about them, it's just, ah, oh, I prefer to be him over him because he looks cooler. Sadly, the stories of the characters don't really play a part of any of the single player. You can give three flips about that. It's just all about killing zombies. Oh what, let's go kill some zombies. Let's do that. The only key story issue is at the end of the game, when you're getting bombed by planes. Yeah, the government decide that they're just going to try and kill everyone, even if you're dead or alive. Yep, that's right, more zombies. Common zombies, uncommon zombies, and special zombies. They're all back for Left 4 Dead 2. There's a lot more zombies, and there's a lot more ways to kill the zombies. Wow. The three brand new zombie specials include a charger, which is like a miniature tank, the jockey, which simply jumps onto an enemy and rides the enemy out of sight, and the spitter, which basically lets down a bit of napalm, zombie style. Left 4 Dead fans will be happy to know that the witch returns in Left 4 Dead 2. However, during daytime, she's going to have a walk around and scare the crap out of you. First we look for supplies. Then we start the midnight. All kinds of fireworks, smoke and lights and shit. That so we got to set up to rock and then fight zombies. This is the best day of our life. The game comes packed with six brand new weapons. You've got a chrome shotgun, a silent submachine gun, a combat shotgun, a sniper rifle, a combat rifle, and an AK-47. Oh, not forgetting the good old grenade launcher. Three weapon upgrades have made it into Left 4 Dead 2. You've got a laser sight which will add to your accuracy, incendiary ammo which basically makes all your bullets set people on fire, and explosive ammo which just takes out common zombies like no tomorrow. A nice new grenade type weapon is the Bile Bomb. It contains a lovely amount of a boomer's sick. You throw that on a zombie, all the zombies are going to go crazy for one zombie. They eat that zombie. But quite clearly, the main highlight of the new weapons has to be the close combat weapons. An axe, a baseball bat, a chainsaw, a cricket bat, a crowbar, an electric guitar, a frying pan, a katana, a machete and a nightstick. All these weapons you can wield and smack a zombie around the face with. The chainsaw has its own sort of ammunition slash bar for its petrol, I'd imagine. And obviously, you're not going to be able to last that long with a chainsaw. But man, is that chainsaw awesome. 
two brand new healing products to the game, a defibrillator which will revive a down player and a shot of adrenaline which will make everything a bit faster so you can reload faster, run faster and be able to kill zombies much much faster. However it doesn't last that long. All these new additions definitely add to a better game, especially the chainsaw. The only major annoyance we had with the single player game was the fact that everything is very linear. Although all the films are completely different and that's a great thing, you're definitely in a different environment for each game. The only problem is, everything is just get to A to B. Dead Center has its own little mini game at the end of the game, which we would like to have seen more of. It's basically scavenge mode, but in the single player campaign. Our preferred zombie film has to be Heavy Rain. It's the first zombie film in which the weather effects change the way all the zombies react to you. Also, there's a day to night cycle, so during the day, like we said earlier, you'll see the witch walking around. During night time, it's going to be raining a lot more, you can't walk around as much because of the watery swamps, and everything just gets a hell of a lot more interesting. Nick, what the hell? You shot the pilot. Well, he wasn't doing a very good job once he became a zombie, now was he? True, true, he was a zombie, but he was also our only pilot. All of your standard game modes from Left 4 Dead return here in Left 4 Dead 2, except for a brand new scavenge mode and a brand new realism mode. Scavenge mode has you and three friends finding cans of gasoline to fill up a tank. This is a very fast and frantic game mode and is perfect for those 20 minute online sessions as opposed to paying a campaign online which can take a lot longer. Realism mode places you in the single player campaign with three other friends all on your own and it will turn all the glows off so you don't know where your friends will be, you don't know where the weapons are, you don't know where all the pickups are. So if one of your friends was to get constricted by a zombie you would have no idea where they've gone. Communication is the key here and you really need to stick together in realism mode. Although, you need to do that in the campaign generally. Our main multiplayer highlight has to be scavenge mode. Killing zombies while getting petrol and causing fire has never been so fun. Especially with three of your friends. So the scores for Left 4 Dead 2. The story gets a 7 zombie kills out of 10. The gameplay a 9 kill zombie and an 8 kill zombie for multiplayer. The overall score an 8 out of 10. And you can read the full written review at tier from X.UK. Bitch.